All right, guys, so finally we have the day where we're going to make the first tier list of Tower of Adventures, all right? So I've been playing for a while. Uh, I've been playing every single day, trying to grind and grind and grind and farm all those materials. And I have a good idea now of currently uh, what cookies are being used and things like that. Uh, just keep in mind, though, it is still based on my opinion as well as kind of like my experience as well. So let's get into it uh, and let's go into the tier list here. All right, so... You guys can see right over here, I have a meta S, A, B, and C. It's been a while since we had a tier list, uh, especially with Kingdom, where we only have like 20-something cookies. <laughs> we have over 100-something cookies in Cookie and Kingdom, and uh, majority of them are epics, uh, you know, and things like that. So it's uh, refreshing to see a smaller list, which means that I can go in more depth. All right, so let's start with the meta. Uh, currently right now, if you guys look at the, um, you know, the raid, the raid is going to be uh, this new one that we have had florets right as the uh, raid boss as of right now so it is not going to be same as probably the first week uh that we have had the raid boss because the elements uh, did change a little bit so the tier list is going to shift a little bit towards that because raid is going to be a big focus in this game because that's where all or majority of your weapon as well as equipment farmings are going to come into play all right so starting off with the meta just like before we have cream soda of course uh cream soda is the best dps right now we have not only for the raid but for the story mode and all the other game modes that we have had because she can be used everywhere her she's uh very tanky as a you know um as a melee character melee cookie and then also on top of that she has great 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 dps uh capabilities with her ult as well as with their special abilities especially if you promote her to at least two-star promotion uh, which was when you get the waves all right so definitely without a doubt and you guys already know that with the water element going on inside of the raid if you guys look at the ranking majority of them are going to be using uh you know cream soda as the main dps's right now for all their raid runs all right so that is going to be uh something that you guys want to keep in mind all right next one is going to be rockstar and you guys already saw as well when i was explaining with cream soda you saw rockstar being there for all those meta teens inside of the raid because of the fact that rockstar is an amazing amazing buffer all right so if you guys are unaware of what rockstar actually does i'm going to quickly go over it with you guys right here in this video and if you guys look at Rockstar's skill, uh, if you guys look at the detail here, Rockstar has this ability right over here at the ultimate, increasing the attack of the cookies inside of their ring by 50%. All right, so that is an insane, insane amount of boost that you're able to do, especially for the raid. And additional to that, if you guys go to the uh, promotion and you guys are able to promote someone like Rockstar to a four-star promotion, which, you know, it's going to take a while, but if you guys do then not only are you going to be able to increase the healing a little bit, but you're able to increase the overall ultimate damage increase by 20%. So it's not going to be 50%, but it's going to be a total of 70% increase. And the reason why Rockstar works so well with Cream Soda is because of the 30% water damage increase, which is why, because Cream Soda is water, Rockstar is water, you get those extra damage as well. So it is a no-brainer right now that you're able to use Rockstar. Super, super, super good for the raid and also different game modes because you get that extra 50% attack or even 70% depending on your promotion. And, um, you know, you do also have that little healing as well. All right, next one is going to be, I want to say, uh, you know, I'm going to give it to Rai as a DPS as well as four other things as well because raid is not everything, but it is the main focus. But also uh, because the fact that right now, if you guys look, the element has change from the earth and water to water and wind so rai is actually doing pretty darn well too rai is a pretty good damage dealer not only that uh but inside of the story mode and inside of glass labyrinth and something like tower rift you're gonna need rai or other dps's and out of the other dps's right now rai is going to be a very 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 good one additional to that again the wind element is there Rai is able to do a great uh, single hit damage and also the AoE or area damage because of the ultimate. And out of that, meta, meta, I'm going to keep it at the three right here with Cream Soda, Rockstar, as well as Rai. The reason why I'm going to be putting Gumball, which I'm going to go into S tier right now, is because of the fact that Gumball can't really be used in everything, uh, especially if you don't have something like Cream Soda. And the reason why I'm saying that is because Gumball's kind of uh, ultimate or the ability here is that Gumball is able to do a water resistant or water res down by 10%. 
Okay, this is great, but it only can be used with someone like Cream Soda. So if everybody has Cream Soda, great. Gumball is a great tagger, is able to put that element as well, doing that extra damage when the gauge is full, works really, really well with someone like Cream Soda because Cream Soda is going to be able to get, uh, you know, increase that gauge super, super quickly. However, if you don't have someone like Cream Soda, or if you're trying to use something else like, you know, for example, Dark Choco right now, and you're trying to level up Gumball for it, not really going to work too well, uh, especially because of the fact that the water res is not going to work for something like the dark element. All right, so that's the reason why I want to say Gumball is going to be more of an S tier right now rather than going to focus on the meta tier. If this was strictly for the raid, then, you know, without a doubt, Gumball would be a meta meta for the raid only, but this is going to be for raid. Uh, however, it's also still going to include other game modes as well. And that's the reason why these three can be used universally but gumball mainly for that raid mainly to be used with someone like cream soda so i'm gonna keep it at s tier as of right now all right and the next one i'm gonna add into this is going to be someone like um plantain plantain is going to work very 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 well with uh, someone like rye right now so plantain is the other uh kind of like this you know uh tagger uh, the, the tagger element for the wind uh, that we have and also additional to that uh, you know plantain is able to put that extra you know wind uh, res down as well uh, so you're able to do a insane amount of damage um, in other game modes as well the ultimate actually really works uh, to group up the enemies together and keep them in place for you to do damage and easier to kind of target those enemies rather than them walking around and you know escaping you all the time all right so that's another great thing about plantain um, and you're able to do that continuous damage as well, which is going to continue to stack up those, uh, you know, the gauge as well for your element. So works really, really well with Rye and Plantain. Again, because of the raid uh, is, is being used here and there, um, you're not going to see a ton, ton of them inside of the ranking, but it is there. It is there if you guys do look hard enough. Uh, it's just that right now the water element is just so, so strong, but... If you guys don't like using the same thing over and over again, Plantain, Rye are going to be a decent combo, a pretty darn good combo in, in reality right here like that to kind of use uh, for the raid as well. All right, and the next one after that is going to be two common cookies actually that you guys uh, probably didn't expect too much unless you guys have been following the meta really, really well. And that's going to be someone like Cherry as well as Ninja. So I'm going to go into uh, Cherry first. So Cherry right now is actually shining a lot because of the fact that Cherry is able to do a ton, ton, ton of damage over time or DOT damage. And that's going to be coming from the fire damage right here. All right, guys. So uh, you're able to put this area of fire, uh, which is going to be the skill damage here. And then uh, additional to that, you have the bomb as well. But because of the fact that Cherry is a tagger, Fire tag is going to do, uh, you know, just burn damage, continuous burn damage. And because of the fact that Cherry is a common cookie, it's going to be a little bit easier to promote. You're going to be able to get increased damage to all the uh, enemies affected by burn. You're able to increase overall burn damage by 200%. You're able to increase the overall number of bombs as well for your Cherry. And uh, Cherry matched up with something like this where, you know, Cherry's ultimate you know, is going to have that elemental res down as well. It's going to allow Cherry to do a lot of damage. And the place that Sher Cherry really, really shines right now is going to be something like the Seasoning Dungeon in uh, not only the Hexagon B Forest Ascension Night Mine, but inside of the Hangster Hideout. You guys already know that gold is going to be an insane uh, shortage right now. And because of that, you know, you want to really, really go and farm this. And even for me right now, I got up to A. Uh, of the last stage thanks to cherry and i'm gonna increase cherry a little bit more level her up a little bit more and then should be able to beat this without a doubt um with just a little bit of uh you know uh tweaking of the equipment here and there and then of course the glass labyrinth as well works really really well with cherry because not only does uh she do air damage over time she's able to quickly switch out and things like that and also she is a range so if you have any uh enemies far away you're able to quickly take them out with cherry as well and with Ninja as well. Right now, Ninja is actually really, really good um, for a lot of different areas, uh, including the raid. Because of the fact that Ninja right over here has an ultimate um, that is going to be able to hit the enemy multiple times, you're able to utilize something like Path of Training. So you guys see right here, Equipped Cookies Ultimate, make five direct hits 
nearby allies are granted 20% increase attack for 10 seconds. And because of the fact that the shuriken storm is going to stay out and is going to continue spinning and is going to go and uh, damage the enemies, uh, it's going to be really, really easy to stack this up, buffing up something like your cream sodas and your team quickly. And additional to that, you're able to use uh, ninja in different game modes as well. Uh, the shuriken cloning technique is also really, really good, quickly able to use this. And uh, if you guys do have something like, you know, uh, the promotions as well, because it's a common, then you're able to dish out a lot of extra damage as well uh, with something like the passive as well for Ninja. Okay, so Ninja is uh, honestly a common cookie that we didn't really think about, but is a great, great, great one with something like Cherry as well. So that's going to be my S tier as of right now overall. Um, and then we're going to go into the A, B, and C. So A tier right now is going to be, without a doubt, something like, uh, you know, Wizard, as well as our Dark Choco. We have Sting Durian as well. And then I'm going to actually add uh, Caramelone in here as well. Uh, so some people might actually disagree with me, especially with Dark Choco, as well as Wizard being in A tier, while these two are going to be in S tier. This tier list mainly does focus on overall gameplay, but heavily on the raid as well. And that's the reason why I'm focusing more on Cherry and Ninja uh, compared to something like Wizard as well as uh, Dark Choco, because these two are light and dark elements. Wizard is a great AoE damage dealer, um, is able to put, um, you know, the light element tag as well onto the enemy. But because of the fact that we don't really have another light element cookie right now inside of the game, who's able to fill up those gaps, uh, the gauge really, really quickly. Um, Wizard is going to be a little bit more of an ATS right now. Once Lemon Zest does appear, though, uh, does come out, Wizard will definitely be better. Uh, but that's going to be where Wizard is. Wizard, still super, super strong, I would say, as an individual cookie uh, for other game modes, uh, you know, for the Glass Labyrinth as well as Seasoning Dungeon will be used greatly. But it's not something that you need to, like, crazy, crazy invest in currently for the meta of, like, raids and Seasoning Dungeons and things like that. Especially if you want to focus on different cookies that works a lot. Uh, well in different game modes as well. All right, Dark Choco, same thing. Great damage dealer, but again, it's going to be a Dark Element. Dark Elements are not super, super used as of right now. Uh, and Dark uh, Choco, I'll have to say, is a little bit tougher to use for most players because you have to really focus and, uh, you know, get those charge attacks out. You got to time those attacks, time those movements, and things like that. Of course, uh, you know, if you guys are great at that, that's amazing, but it can be a bit of a, in a sense, uh, kind of, annoying so there's that as well and then the tagger for dark element is alchemist alchemist is great but uh you know still dark element is not being used as much as water or something like the wind as of right now with the current rate okay uh and then next one uh, that we have going on for the b tier here is going to be someone like chili pepper as well as crushed pepper and i want to say someone like uh, twisted donut and lastly alchemist all right so uh, this is going to be where uh, these cookies are just average. Twisted Donut is a great, uh, you know, tagger with the turrets and things like that. Great for early game. Uh, but at, later on down the line, not going to be worth too much, uh, in my opinion, until something like Sting Durian might actually come up to the task of being the main DPS once the raid does change as well for that. But, uh, you know, overall gameplay, great, uh, but not super, super strong either. Just kind of there, allowing you to push quickly through the story because the story is really easy right now it's it's set to be easy right it's set to be easy so that's the reason why we can level uh twist down to a certain level but you don't need to invest further uh chili pepper not gonna be super great right now D uh, definitely it works but in my opinion cherry is gonna be a better uh you know fire element dps if you guys are deciding to use cherry as a dps as well uh crushed pepper not gonna be used too much either in uh the current meta because shield it's great. It does uh, kind of relieve you from uh, having to, you know, worry about getting hit and things like that. But because the stories as well as the uh, game modes right now are not so, like, hard, unless you need... Like, the only thing that I'll have to say it does happen is, like, uh, you like damage. But you don't really lack the HP. You don't really lack the healing too much. So the shielding is not going to be great. Again, Alchemist 2, same thing. And then the rest of them are going to be in the C tier as of right now. I would say Ginger Brave is used for the current uh, speed runs, but that's pretty much it. All right. So that's kind of what I have for you guys right now for the current 
uh, tier list of Tower of Ventures. I did talk a lot on this, but I hope the explanation kind of gives you guys uh, an idea why, where these cookies are, why I place these cookies in certain tiers. Heavily focused on the raid, but not only the raid, but all their uh, game modes as well. So keep that in mind. But again, just know that this is based on my opinion and my experience. And in games like this, you can honestly use a lot of different cookies that you really like and you would like the gameplay of. So keep that in mind as well. But thanks for watching, guys. And uh, check out my other two guides that I have in front of you guys right now if you guys haven't checked that out already.